get more on this now with Nadia Al Bilasi. She's senior market analyst at Equity Group and joins us now from Dubai. Great to have you on the program with us, Nadia. Now, help us understand what a stagnant inflation means for an economy like Japan's. Thank you for having me, Taiba. Um, so, with Japan's economy is obviously quite different than. We have inflation remaining above the 2% target, um, but still they are planning to hike rates. I think Ueda in his last speech, he did mention that they are willing to hike rates uh, as long as inflation continues to move in with line. Uh, now, inflation in Japan is somehow stagnant because of the uh, a mix uh, of uh, demographic uh, like an aging popularity that um, an aging population uh, that uh, spends less and saves more and also uh, that has a, a little bit of like a cautious stance into spending they're not like the usual um, sort of consumers and uh, not uh, well at least comparing it with the US uh, resilient consumer and also because of the quantitative that we've been seeing over the years. I mean, they only hiked rates for the first time in 17 years, a few months back, and that kind of rolled things over. Um, but, but we have an aging population and we do have the quantitative easing and a, a different kind of policy um, in Japan as well. So uh, a lot of factors, they play out into making the inflation levels low, especially when there is less spending, there is less wages, and there's also um, a shrinking workforce. Right. And what role is market instability playing in the Bank of Japan's cautious approach to economic changes? Um, uh, definitely, the, after the Bank of Japan raised rates by 15 uh, basis points, the that there was an end to the carry trades that um, a lot of investors were exposed to. Um, I think after the end of the carry trades, the yen sort of uh, stabilized a little bit. We're seeing a sideways range in the dollar yen uh, right now. And we might even see another hike in October that could support the yen even further. So we're going to see a, a more appreciation of the yen over the coming period, especially with the dollar going uh, lower because we are anticipating uh, interest rate cuts from the Federal Reserve as well. So you have expectations of an interest rate cut from the Fed and you have an interest rate hike from the Bank of Japan. So these two policies are going to balance themselves out and we might see an appreciation of the yen. And then we're also going to track Wall Street into um, the, uh, the, the, the optimism that it's going to go uh, on or the rally that might be sparked after the first interest rate cut. All right, Nadia Al-Bilasi, Senior Market Analyst at Equity Group. Thank you very much for your insights.